Okay, guys, so got the tire off the rim, got the tube right here. We are going to do a real-time inspection of the Tannis insert after one month. First things first, let me get the tube out of here really carefully. Now keep in mind, this is the uh, tube that Tannis sent with the insert, okay? The tube is a uh, 20 by 2.5 to 2.95. So this tube is reusable when I uh, get my motorcycle tire. It might be coming today, definitely by tomorrow. So when I put that on, yeah, I'm just going to use the same tube. Plus I have my sealant and stuff in the tube. I, you know, I don't want to waste that money I put into the tube. And really quick, here, let me show you. Let me put that. Valve stem cover on that. I want to inspect my tube stem. There's no evidence of anything weird going on there. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just not taking the risk. I'm not going to take it. You know, I, I, I would not have paid the money for the Tannis insert if I didn't have faith in it, believe in it, but I'm telling you what right now. So let's pull this out and see what we got. The top is totally flat. The top is totally flat, guys. I mean, literally, there is nothing on the top at all. Top is totally flat. I don't know if I can, let me see if I can show this to you guys here better. Um, top is totally flat. I mean, literally, see my fingers down here on the back side? The top is totally flat. This is after one month of being on my bike. After one month. And I ran the proper tube. I ran lower air pressure, like they mentioned to do. I ran at 25 PSI. I, this, I, I don't think this is acceptable, in my opinion. I, I don't. Um, maybe they need to go back to the drawing board and make a, uh, a more solid type of top area here. I mean, because, I mean... Look at this. I mean, th this thing is flat. This thing is flat. You know, I mean, I can even push the side in there. That's not going to give you any puncture protection. I mean, it's, it's really hard foam. I mean, it might give some little aspect of puncture protection, but anything sharp, it's not going to stop that. There's no distance to stop it. And the other thing, too, not having any additional foam at the top up here how how are you going to have run flat technology this is not going to run flat in a tire if you if you get a flat tire and this bunches up and curls down like this it's going to come off your rim i mean maybe on a small really lightweight bike it wouldn't do that but on their site when you buy these at least when i bought them it does not give a disclaimer saying hey this does not apply to e-bikes I'll tell you right now, there is no way in hell that you are going to ride a flat tire on an e-bike with it going flat like this. I mean, this thing uh, usually has like five-eighths of an inch. Let me just get in here and show this to you again. I mean, look at that. It is dead flat. There is... I mean... Literally, yeah, the whole thing is. That, I, I honestly did not expect to see that. I mean, I know they do compress, but my understanding is that's if you use your stock tube, that's if you run your maximum air pressure. I did neither. I had the tube they sent. I ran 25 PSI. Hell, actually for a while I ran at 22 PSI. And I only, uh, two weeks ago, put it up to 25. These tires are rated for 30 PSI. This, 
in my opinion, shouldn't be happening, not like that. You know, and to actually expect people to pull these out of your tires periodically and put them into an extreme warm room or as one thing Ashley says, basically, you know, take a shower with them. Well, not literally, you know, unless you got something weird going on with a Tannis insert, but put it in the shower, not directly in the water, but in there to get the humidity from the steam and whatnot. I don't know. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't trust this as a, uh, as a beach float, as a life, uh, as a life, uh, you know, a life throw off a boat. All that extra distance is gone. I, I know they can do better. I know they can do better. I'm just glad that uh, even though it's a very rare occurrence, but the fact is it is happening to people where the Tannis insert, when it gets really thin like this, somehow uh, holds on the tube and the tire, the rim and the tire and the tube and the insert kind of end up moving independently. And then of course we know what's gonna happen to your valve stem is gonna shear it off. So that's my inspection of what I found in the Tannis insert after one month, guys, one month. I'm gonna inspect the inside of my tire. I wanna see if I can feel like where anything may have gone through the tire. Which, of course, I don't. I mean, tire's still, I mean, brand new. I mean, let's look at it. Let's go ahead and take a look at my, uh, oh, look at the star. The star came. Here we go. And check this. See how I line mine with uh, vinyl tape, electrical tape? The whole entire thing. I've got absolutely no problem whatsoever inside here, so... That's actually good news. So yeah, that's the uh, Tannis liner situation, guys. And I'll be getting uh, that motorcycle tire. Someone asked me today, well, wait, these are 20 by three. How's a 16 by three gonna fit? Well, very simple. Your uh, diameter here, if you measure straight uh, across, this is 16 inches. And your tire, your tires on the inside, if you get a tape measure, and you measure from inside to inside right here, it's 16, 16 inches, guys. So, yeah, it does work. But, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll do the Tannis on the front tire because this only seems to be happening with tires that are under, uh, well, the torque, the torque area in the back wheel, obviously. So, shouldn't be any problem with the front tire. But, yeah, that's what's going on with the back tire, guys. So, a lot of money for those Tannis inserts. I think about 185 bucks, give or take, for uh, a pair. You know, and that included the tubes. So, you know, I'm not going to scream and yell, but buyer beware. You know, I, I have faith that they can do something better. You know, I'm sure they're aware of this and they're coming up with other solutions. So, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, even though it costs a lot of money. Hell, I may even contact and see if I could get a refund maybe. But, I don't know. So you guys tell me what you think in the comments, okay, about that. And I hope this helps anyone who's got Tannis in their tires, just that precautionary thing, be careful. Or someone thinking about it, you might want to hold off. You know, you can get better tires, protect your tires. You can use the flat-out uh, sealant inside your tire. <laughs> ten times better than slime. Slime works, yes, but this stuff is ten times better. So, all right, guys. Keep safe out there riding, and I'll see you on the next video when I get the, uh, the motorcycle tire. Peace.